Chapter 380, Economic Incentives, Pipeline Investment, and River Oaks is updated. Thank you for tuning to Construction Business TV. My name is Josh Rovita, and this is your Houston Weekly Update. Hello and welcome back to this edition of Weekly Update. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. We're glad to have you here with us. I'd like to first mention if you're on commercial real estate, residential real estate, or a trade of any kind involving construction, go to the description right down there below. Schedule a free interview to be featured here on Construction Business TV. Also, make sure that bell and subscribe button also down below to stay up to date on what's happening in construction business. Okay, let's hit that first story. Okay, our first story of today is about the River Oaks update. So the River Oaks district in Houston is getting an update, which will add a new pocket park and expansion of the Central Plaza. The festival company, the development manager, leasing agent, and property management company for the district announced on May 2nd that it is set to start this makeover. The 39,000 square foot project is expected to cost $6 million, according to the Texas Department of Licensing and regulation filings. The project includes an overhaul of the Central Plaza to make more room for events, as well as a pocket park that stretches from West Creek Lane in the western edge of the retail center to its eastern boundary. Construction is scheduled to begin this month and expected to be completed later this year, 2022. Gensler is designing the project. Texana Builders are serving as the general contractor. Burton Studio is the landscape architect, and RSM Design will be providing the signage and environmental graphics. Okay, our next story today is about a pipeline investment. So, Enbridge Incorporated made a $6.6 million investment into Smart Pipe Technologies. Smart Pipe Technologies is an early stage company developing proprietary technology to improve the safety of existing pipeline infrastructure. Both companies have worked together in the past to develop a high pressure composite line pipe with the current investment to be used on a similar project. Smart Pipes technology includes a composite internal pipeline liner that can be pulled through an existing infrastructure to bolster structural integrity of the pipeline. The liner also has an embedded fiber optic line which can allow monitoring and leak detection. Smart Pipe is aiming to support companies as they transition to more sustainable forms of energy. Okay, our last story up today is about Chapter 380 Economic Incentives. So, Galveston's Economic Development Staff is working on drafting new policies for the use of Chapter 380 agreements, according to Galveston's Economic Development Coordinator, Michelle Hay. Chapter 380 of the Local Government Code authorizes municipalities to offer incentives to promote economic development, such as commercial and retail projects. Like most incentives, it must be approved by a Texas Comptroller's Office. Hay has also said depending on the project, it can receive a tax rebates between 25% and 75% of the total cost. Chapter 380 in Galveston was used to incentivize the renovation of historic buildings and the new policy will include new developments in multiple industries such as maritime, aviation, and manufacturing, he said. He expects to have a draft policy ready for the city council to review either June or July. Thank you again for watching this edition of Weekly Update. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you next week.